Martin, it's the last day of term. It and is. You're wearing a Christmas jumper. We'll come on to that in a minute. Um, 2020 was a crazy, challenging year. Has 2021 been any different? Uh, yeah, probably a bit crazier and a bit more challenging, I think, <laughs> is, the, is the obvious answer. Yeah, um, yeah it, it has been challenging, but it's been a really good year as well. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a great believer that, that schools don't stand still very long. I think they either, they either, they're either improving or, or they're kind of declining. Yeah. Um, and despite everything that's been thrown at us, um, I still get a really sense, a, a real sense of, of Lipson still being a school that is, is, is moving in that direction despite all the challenges and, and the craziness of it. So, um, so yeah, it's been, it's been a tough year. This has been a long term. It's been a really long term. Uh, I can't remember one uh, feeling like it's dragged on like it has towards the end. Um, but, it, but it's still really positive. So many things happening, even right down to the last couple of days of term where um, you walk around school, you just feel really proud of, of, of what you see, with, whether it's our students stopping you in the corridor and, and talking to you about something or or going into classrooms and seeing the staff still at it, um, you know, with a, with a day to go or a few hours to go. So really challenging, but, but incredibly rewarding um, and, and just, you know, so positive in so many ways, I think. I don't give half me one about it, but you've had external verification of those feelings as well from Ofsted, so it's Yeah, that feels like a lifetime ago now. <laughs> uh, so they came in, we ticked the box and, and now they've gone away, thankfully. Um, really pleased with the report. It's all been published now. Um, nice for the staff to get the plaudits that they deserve I think I think that was the most important thing for us um, but 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 more importantly now we, we come back in January and we can really concentrate on, on on doing the work that we need to do to try and you know prepare our students for what they need to be prepared for still not sure what that looks like obviously <laughs> yet in the summer um, but I'm sure somebody will tell us nearer the time uh, in the meantime we just get them ready for, for any eventuality so yeah good to get back to our our proper business of uh, of trying to raise student achievement as high as we possibly can. Well, while we're talking about it, so we just should mention that as things stand, uh, there's, a, there's a testing day, isn't there? The first day back of term is going to be a, a, test, a testing on Google Classroom. Yeah, we, we've been encouraged actually to, to do this. So we've, we've, we've reopened the testing centre again. We're going to test as many of our students as possible. Um, so you, you've had the information, hopefully you can come in year group by year group. In the meantime, we'll get on and do some staff training. Uh, and give the staff some much needed kind of planning and preparation time for the for the term ahead. So please take advantage of the fact that we'll, we will be testing on that first Tuesday and we'd like to get as many students using that as possible before we start for real on Wednesday. As far as uh, Christmas has gone, you, you, you touched on it earlier, that there's been a, a, lot of, uh, a lot of charity, a lot of work from, from the children and, and the staff here. We donate again to the Plymouth Food Bank. And also, I think there's been a, a distribution in the area uh, of, uh, of food hampers, uh, which local businesses, I think you, you, you know who they are. Yeah, the, the, the students do an awful lot here. It's, this is, when I talk about the school having a life of its own sometimes, um, there are things that go on that, are, that, that, that aren't coordinated by me. So the food bank being a really good example, that's a, a head of year that's driven that, but the, the students have bought in. And we made a massive contribution actually to the food banks in the area. And then just this morning, I find out that, that Bonsante local restaurant have, have been in, uh, donated two wonderful um, hampers, uh, uh, along with St Paul's Church, who've, who've, who've brought in things. And, and, you know, we can distribute those to some of our, our, our neediest families, if you like. So, so yeah, the charity aspect is, is really important. Um, I think it's one of those things that predates me. I think Lipson have always done this kind of thing and, and they do it really well and I think I've, to, I've talked to you many times haven't you, about how seriously we take our role as being part of the community but I think those are all really good examples of that but thank you to those those people that have come in and donated as well and just to underline the fact that it, it's not driven from the very top it was the one of your safeguarding team who looked at you yeah it was Jude actually who came in this morning and just let me know that that had happened um, as I said the food bank initiative was, was done by heads a year and, and some teaching assistants mm. um, so that they just get on and do it. But I guess my role is just to give them the freedom to be able to go and do it. Brilliant, something now, sitting on your left here who's been in, in, in the frame uh, yeah, all the interview. Absolutely. Somebody who's experiencing her last Christmas. Her last Christmas, as her T-shirt as her t-shirt says. Um, yeah, so so it's a bit sad today, but but I'm really proud to be able to say that, that, that Tracy's leaving us today to go to Headship. So she's taken over as, as the head of a special school from January. 21 years service, not just the little two and a half years piddly <laughs> service that I've done. 21 years at Lipson Tracy. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Must be mixed emotions today, but 
I just wanted to give you the opportunity, I think, to say a few thank yous and, and say your goodbyes properly. Yeah, thank you. Um, first of all, I just want to say thank you to all of the students and the parents from whom um, I've worked really closely with over the years and with some of those families with um, more than one generation of the people in that family having been here so long. Um, I've had some lovely messages and, and sort of well wishes from everybody and I really do want to keep in touch and hear how things are, are going on. Um, I particularly want to keep in touch with the current year 11 and some of the last couple of year 11s that I've seen through sort of working really closely with them through the pandemic and to know how they get on. Head boy and head girl of year 11 have been to see me this morning to make me promise that I will come back for prom. Um, so I will come and see them at the end of the year to find out how they got on. Um, and to celebrate with them. But there are a huge number of, of children I've worked closely with and I will miss them all. Um, and Lipson's always been a, a family place really and so there are a huge amount of staff that I've worked really closely with over the years. Some of them for as many years as I've been here. Um, and there are you know, a number of people who I will miss. I don't think I could name them all in this, but I do just wanna say a special thank you to the people that I've worked most closely with so that's everybody on the senior team um, and it's been a wonderful senior team to work with and I've learned so much especially from Martin since he joined as well to take on into my headship. Stuart Mitchell who is the most wonderful head of year and, wonderful and, man, I think. and a wonderful man and it's been an absolute pleasure working alongside him with year 11. My fabulous safeguarding team so Jude Pedrick, Lisa Bennett, Dawn Mutel um, who make life very easy in being the designated safeguarding lead because they are so incredibly knowledgeable and I know I leave that in safe hands. Uh, Trudy Lincoln from um, the Pink Office for all her work on admissions and attendance and the different bits that have gone into that work alongside me. Uh, Rebecca and Alison in the exams team. Um, I've let Paul know that he needs to pick up the 6.30 a.m. McDonald's breakfast for the two download days in the holiday. Um, that's been 21 years of a tradition of us all eating our McDonald's breakfast together while we were waiting for the exam results to come in. Um, and I will miss that. I haven't got to go in for an exam to download at all this summer, so I might just pop in and see people. Um, you never know. Um, and then the people in the ARC, uh, Rebecca Marshall for careers. And I'm sure there are people I'm missing um, but a fabulous, fabulous team of people to miss and I, and I absolutely will miss everybody. I start in January but I'm currently the only employee so the first thing I've got to do is find a team of people as wonderful as the people here who are going to work in the new school with me. Um, so that will be my first challenge and then identifying who the children will be. So thank you to everybody and I will miss everybody incredibly. Well I'll tell you on that one Tracy, good luck with that one. <laughs> Trying to get as good a group as the group we've got. But I, I just would like to thank you on behalf of the staff, the students and the families uh, for, the, for the 21 years that you've done here. And you will be missed but it's, you know, it's great that you're going on to, to kind of bigger and better things. So well done from all of us. Brilliant. I don't think there's anything to add to that, so maybe you'd like to look into the camera and say happy Christmas. So I will say happy Christmas. Uh, I hope you have a happy and safe Christmas and a, a really prosperous new year. And we look forward to seeing you all again bright and early in January. Thank you very much.